All right, so the project we're gonna be doing today is to, well, a couple things here. One, we're gonna be swapping out this drip pan from this uh, Kohler 7E generator. Um, this thing, as you can tell, is literally rusted out. I mean, there is barely anything left of this thing. What there should be right through here is a stainless steel pan that bolts to this, and then the generator bolts to the pan. But as you can see, it's nearly gone. All right, so there's a couple screws and bolts we need to get to here. A couple here, here mount here and there's some in the back As you can see, this looks absolutely horrible. I mean, these are just piece of the, pieces of this pan coming off. Let's uh, take a vacuum down here. Alright, so it's the next day here. Um, this was just incredibly difficult to film. 
really, really a huge pain. As you can see, I got a little bit of this stuff out. I got it loosened up. I have a uh, bottle jack up under here, jacking up this side with a piece of wood. This side is under a, a block as well. So really what I need to do is uh, get these mounts out right here, but all of the bolts are spinning. So I'm gonna attempt to use oscillating multi-tool with a metal blade and uh, cut all of that out of there. You can see the new pan here. And these bolts, they just spin under here. They're not uh, welded in at all. And then these, of course, are all rusted off, so those just spin too. All right, so here's a pro tip for anybody in the future that is trying to do this. So these things, like I said, are actually bolted up through the bottom, okay? And then they bolt into the block here, and then right under here, you can't see, but they go up and then a nut sits on top. So at first I tried to just cut those, but really what you gotta do is get jack this thing up enough that you can get a wrench and a uh, socket under there and just try to loosen those up. As you can see, it's just downright filthy under there. So, we're gonna see if we can't get this all cleaned up. So there's the new pan, uh, just kind of sitting in, in place right here. We're going to have to slide it under. First what I think I'm going to do though is uh, bolt these up to the um, generator on all four corners and then 
you know, these will be kind of raised up in the air on the generator and then we'll slide this pan in and sit it down on these uh, mounting spots and then we can bolt it down there. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. All right, so you can see here, there's virtually zero room to work. So we got our set here. And I believe these don't get a washer. They just go straight through. This washer sits on top like that. Maybe these do. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and put a washer on the inside and up through. This will go under here. And then this just gets put into a, uh, a threaded portion on the block. Just so you can see what I've got here. So, right up here on top, I've got a nut. There's a bolt that goes through this mounting point. A couple of washers on either side. So, just got to get a uh, ratchet and under here. And then a uh, wrench up top and tighten this down. This goes for this side. And, uh, the mounting point right there. All right, so that pan just uh, slid right in place there. You can see I got all the mounting brackets in. So hopefully now I can lower this thing down and it will uh, drop right in place. All right, so uh, this side is on, and this side just needs to be uh, shifted over a bit. All right, let's see if we can't drop this one into place. There we go. Dropped right in. So now we just need to uh, pull it back and line it up with these holes here. There's one hole. Here's the other. All right, so let's bolt this all down. All right, so uh, we got this project wrapped up here. As you can see, that looks a lot better. Um, that rust stain just isn't gonna come out of that fiberglass piece, but as you can see, the whole thing is securely mounted now. I mean, it's not going anywhere. This thing lasted for uh, about 16 years, so uh, 
should get another 16 years out of it. Just got to pay attention to it and make sure it's not leaking any salt water. Here's the old pan. This is a belt I changed, but uh, as you can see, just completely demolished. Um, if I had to do this again, I would definitely focus more on getting the bolts actually undone down here, especially on these brackets with a socket, ratchet, wrench, whatever first, before I go the route of cutting things apart. Uh, the main thing you want to do is make sure that you lift this generator up in the air a couple inches, that way you can get under there and get all your tools to the, to the uh, four uh, mounting points.